All right, hello everyone. We are now um, nearing the end of our series of videos about how to present a science project. And today we're talking about your bibliography. A bibliography is important whenever you do research um, because you're taking ideas that came from books or websites or magazines or other places that you get it. Um, and that's, as a matter of fact, what the uh, first part of bibliography means, uh, where you see the word bibli, it actually comes from the Latin word, which means book. And um, graph also comes from the Latin word, which means uh, to write. So you're writing about a book. Or in our case, we might be writing about a website or a journal that's online. Um, and uh, the reason you have a bibliography is so that you, uh, when you uh, show work that you created, if you borrow someone's ideas, you point back to where that idea was gotten from. So if anybody wants to read more about what you've done, they can see where you got your ideas from. So um, in our project, we've been working through a couple of articles. And you can see here there's a frame for what um, you can write if you found something online. And a lot of research we do these days come from websites or online. So the first step is to have the last name of the author followed by the first initial, not the whole name, but the first initial and then a period. After that, you're gonna need the year that it was published, the name of the web page, and then you're actually gonna put the web URL um, or the web address, and you're gonna include the uh, sentence retrieved from. So um, in this case, we've been working with a um, a two article summary. And so we will need to have two entries, one for the first article we use and one for the second. And the important thing is that the first thing that you list should be in alphabetical order. So whichever author's last name comes first in the alphabet, that's what we're going to put. So I have the two articles we were working on for this project right here. Um, number one, you can see the article, the author is a guy named Tom, Tom Don. And D for Don, because last name will go first, we're going to see if the other article, if you remember, the organization was the author of the article because we didn't have the name of a person. So that's an S, scienceu.org, starts with an S. So we're going to start with Tom Don here. And uh, let's go with the last name. We're going to fill it in. Don. And then first initial. We're not going to write his whole name. We're just going to put the first initial, which is T, and then period. Now, year published, um, if we look at this article, we're looking through it to see if there's any information. And there's, um, there's no information on what year it was published. So we don't have to worry. We can just put an abbreviation inside of the parentheses here that's in lowercase letters, n dot d with another period. And that stands for no date. And that tells us that that website did not publish a date when it was published. Um, and so the name of the web page, the name of the article that we have here, we're going to start with Mr. Tom Don, and we're going to copy paste this. Control C. And then control V, okay? And I don't want it to look like this. I'm going to change the lettering to, let's see, it's a, pay, it's a size 12 font. No, we've got a size 18, so we can make it the same thing, size 18 in Arial. And it looks like the font was different too, so we're changing it to be the same font. All right. Um, and then retrieved from, and in this case, uh, this is a copy of an article found online. And if you go all the way to the bottom, there is the web page where it was found. We're going to copy, and we're going to paste that in. And once again, we've got a formatting issue. We are going to make sure that it's the same thing. So 
What we have here is Arial font 18. You can see the size up there. And this is Arial 13.5. So we need to make this a little bit bigger. Um, of course, there's a specific size you should have if you're doing a, um, uh, an essay. But for a slideshow, you may want to have it a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is exactly as it should be. It looks like we want to make sure the color is black. We want to make sure that there's no highlighting. Okay. And there we go. Okay. That is the first reference. And then taking a look at the second article, you're going to do the same thing instead of the title of the author you're going to put here is scienceu.org, which is not separated into last name, first initial, because it's not the name of a person. And that'll be fine. And then the year published, we'll look for it. If we don't have it, we put the ND, no date, and continue with the name of the web page and where you got it from. All right, that is all you have to do for bibliography, and you're done.